thinking about moving to Jacksonville but can't decide? Well, maybe this will help. Keep watching for five things I love and five things I hate about living in Jacksonville. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Engel and I'm a realtor with Keller Williams in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Now let's jump in. But wait, don't forget to subscribe. So first, I'm going to start with what I love. And number one, of course, is the beach. Jacksonville has 22 miles of beaches and there really is a spot for everyone. You've got more residential areas that are very private and there's not a lot of activity going on. And then you've got places like Neptune Beach where there's the beaches town center so you can enjoy some time on the sand and then maybe go visit a popular restaurant or coffee shop. And then you've got Jacksonville Beach as well where there are a ton of great bars so it's great for going out at night and the beach is right there as well. Number two, guys, I'm just going to lay it all out there. I love to eat and moving from the metro Atlanta suburbs to Jacksonville, I am in heaven with all of the local restaurants. There are so many great places to choose from. You've got the local, Taco Lou, Hawkers, Flying Iguana, Angie's Grom. I could go on and on and on, but I won't. The third thing I love about living in Jacksonville is the Jaguars. Did you guys see that we just crushed the Colts? Okay, maybe crushed isn't the best term, but we won and that's all that matters. I absolutely love that we have a professional football team here in Jacksonville and the locals take it very seriously. But in all reality, the camaraderie around the sports team really does bring everyone here together and celebrating the Jaguars is a ton of fun. The fourth thing I love about Jacksonville is its size and diversity. Did you know that Jacksonville is the largest city in the continental US with over 840 square miles? That's right. And it's got all of these little pockets like Jacksonville Beach, Riverside, Mandarin, Nocatee, Ponte Vedra Beach. There are all these little areas. So even though Jacksonville is a huge city, once you find your place and you get plugged in, it really does feel like a small town. I love that I can go out to breakfast on a Saturday and I'll see four or five people that I know. It's a great feeling. The last thing that I'll say that I absolutely love about living in Jacksonville are the conveniences. Growing up originally in North Georgia, anything that you want to go to is typically about a 20 minute drive away. But in Jacksonville, you have about four different grocery stores within a five minute drive of where you are. It's really awesome. There are tons of different places to go shopping, grab food, pretty much anywhere that you could need to go, you can get there within about five to 10 minutes. Now, let's talk about some things that aren't really my favorite thing about living here in Jacksonville and could even be a deal breaker for you. Number one, the heat. It is so dang hot all the time. You'll walk outside, it's only 9 a.m. and it's already 85 plus degrees outside. It's crazy. One thing that I will say that is nice about living here is that we do get all four seasons typically, but in general, it stays pretty dang hot. The second thing that I don't love about living in Jacksonville is the traffic. Like I said before, it's a pretty big city and traffic can get intense. Like when you're going across the Buckman and there's all of a sudden a crash or don't even get me started on 295. Just be warned, the traffic can be rough, but living at the beach is worth it. Number three is gonna be the parking. The beach access parking is already pretty small, and the one place that did have a ton of parking just started enforcing meters, so you have to pay. It's really a bummer on a busy day when you just wanna to get to the beach, but I still go back. Not a deal breaker for me, but who knows. The fourth thing that kinda of stinks about living here is the urban sprawl. Like I said before, Jacksonville equals massive city, and it's not very walkable. You're gonna need some kind of wheels to get you where you need to go, whether it's a bike, a car, or some kind of public transportation. The city does offer it though, so if that's gonna be your means of transportation, I just recommend doing your research and making sure this is a feasible option for you based on where you're going to be coming to and from most often. And the last thing I don't love about living in Jacksonville is I swear it feels like it rains every single day. As a matter of fact, it's even raining right now. 
Every now and then we get a nice break of uninterrupted sunshine, but if you're moving to Jacksonville, be prepared for frequent midday showers. And that's it, not too bad, huh? Overall, Jacksonville is a great place to live. So if you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville, but you need to know more about the cost of living, you should check out this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.